Panthers vs Tigers. Panthers have defeated the West Tigers five straight up in Penuth. So yeah. Yes, a little overcast here and a bit of wind. Tenders 2015, so... I'm picking this match to go down 2010 was the last time West Tigers have defeated Penrith up in Penrith, so yeah. During the warm-up, taking a few practice shots, Eddie. It was rough going all right. The first. If it doesn't settle down, it'll be hard to add the extras. Maloney with a Oh, instantly, Isaiah. Surges forward in the tackle. Hard to hit. The second. Fires had a pass. Don Edwards, the third. West Saga's cracking win 42 to nil over the Eels. Do you reckon back up their performance and have a big win against the Panthers? Panthers looking to win six straight against West Saga up and Penrith. Yep. Hey, Kaboos. This is 2015, the, the year 2015, the last time West in Bait Penrith was 2013 and Garden Point 21 to 20 with a field goal to Benjamin Marshall. Oh, uh, Benjamin Marshall retired now. North Flamer came off at five, came off five tries. I can lose. Charlie Staines is against his former club. Oh, now Lee Brooks. Finally wrapped up on the 10 meter line. Wests are looking dangerous here. Got to break up the defense. A short pass. Nice step. Just short of the 10 meter line. Fifth tackle. Let's see what they can come up with. Looking to send his man through a hole with a Gary Oh. The Tigers are off the hook. They just got a bit too excited there, I reckon. Longer jump, I'm surprised. I thought it would be a knocked on. Well, the, the Panthers could have actually challenged, to be honest. Looking for support as he runs. Yeah, the Panthers could have challenged Charles, Charlie Stanzas against his former club, the Panthers. Oh, Buckland's tied. Oh, yeah, as I was there, uh, probably. As I was first of the year. Just too easy. Papa Lili, Isaiah Papa Lili, past Brian Carlo and Isaiah Papa Lili backs it up. Brian Wagon, I think only got a couple goals in round one, he was a shocker off a boot. It's very weird, it, them it's not, normally does not really miss that much goals in like a round, but obviously it was with her. And obviously it's only round one, that was only round one, but you know he made his skills first. It was round one, but Luke Brooks had a couple shots. He was two from one. But yeah. But you know. Brandon Wakin managed to knock his first over. But that was an easy one. He'll most likely possibly get one from the sideline eventually. Stuff at all. Has very positioned in the number eight jersey because he can run. He can run. Oh, second. All sagas are already underway. Oh. Lou Brooks backs it up and scores. Oh, yes. All sagas are instantly into gear. Then. West Sargas was the wooden spoon his last season, but this year, oh, perfect start. West Sargas played Penrith, but was up in Penrith last time, but obviously the first time around we played Mark Ardoval, it was the Panthers. 40 points to 6. And the second time around, it was of the, the Panthers. Oh, that's yep. So first time around, it was at La Oval with the Panthers 40 points to six. And the second time around, it was in Penrith, and it was Panthers 20 points to 16. Look at this, running from oh, Dan Lowy. The, the second. 
Brooks. Lee Brooks, oh, he loves this game. He loves running. The chase is on. Driven back in the middle. Alpha enough for self for self for Mona. Darting along. Commitment. Desperate Panthers. Stuff at all. Oh, has he got there? I think I think it's a West Tigers try here. Oh yes, it is easily a Tigers try. It's tough to move to a prop position. Um, he got talked off that lock position because you know they needed him more involved with this game as well. So he's in that number eight jersey, and oh, hasn't he already made a statement instantly on the board as well? He gets the he gets the third try. Them like that's just poor defense by the Panthers. They won around one seventeen points to ten over the Dragons, and Stavato is really strong as well. And look at he knocks oh, one off. He knocks Isaiah off as well. Dylan, what is Dylan Edwards doing? He should have been defending them. Like if Dylan Edwards was there as well, that wouldn't have been a try. But no, he just watched him. It's Stavato. Oh, hang on, is he, is he short of the line here? Oh. Now, we need to check. Has he get that ball on the line? See, the ball is on the line there, but is he tackled first? Oh, that might need a bit of investigation, but I think it might be good. That is not on the line right there. Still not on Oh, I'm not too sure. But wait, does it look like there's a bit of high contact, do you reckon? Oh, I feel like it's going to be reviewed. Okay, we're just waiting. We're just waiting for the referee, and yep, it's going to go upstairs. Have a look. The tries on the view. We need to check this stuff. So gets grounds the ball on the line. But however, we actually having a look see if there's a possible penalty try. I believe Isaiah has clipped them high. That possibly denies him to. Absolutely gets on the line. So now they're looking at a possible penalty try. The pass is good, obviously. It is still playing. It is playing on at the stage. The ball is grounded sh short of the line. We have confirmed high contact by Isaiah Yo. We're just having a look if a possible penalty try. Because there's inclusive evidence he gets it on the line, but however, there's, like, there's high contact by Isaiah Yo. In the opinion of the video referee, if there was no high contact, as um, if there was no high contact by Isaiah Yo, Stavato would have ground the ball on the line clearly. So it is a penalty try to the West Tigers. So they did confirm he did not go on the line, but it was a it's a penalty try since high contact from Isaiah. You saw how close he was. There was no doubt. There was no doubt he would got down the line. So it's good. It's a penalty try. That was a right call by the video referee. Okay, boys, Luke Gunner. Okay, boys. Oli Brooks, he shows it. He gets straight through everybody. Isaiah Papalili, oh, Jesus. Oh, Brian Kelly. Oh. Oh, intercepted Nathan Clue. Okay, boys. The second. Shrugs off the tackle. Good tackle. Is it that? Is it? Is it Peter Wallace? Or? Oh, James Maloney too. How oh, another? Oh, no, 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 not can play on. By James Samway, but going to referee, it went backwards. Uh, down on the tackle. 
It is the last. Let's see what Brent Naden does. Okay, boys. The first. All the books. The third. Oh. That's a 40 20 10. He has a 40 20. Bacon gets a 40 20. See, he's being much better in this game than round one. Get all the conversions wrong, but. Bacon only managed to get easy conversions because they're basically close to the post. The second. Do you reckon they might get? Do you reckon they might, might line up for field goal? The Brooks attempted just before full time, but obviously it was off. Uh, Dane Lowy. Dane Lowy. He spots a gap. He can he get there? Oh, I denied. Okay, boys. Oh, no. Oh, and it's the other half time. Did James? Time and knocked on because they just ruled half time, so on a doubt. That's how we're not. Yeah, knock, he knocked it on when. He knocked it on when um, Lou Brooks attempted the kick. So that's why it's half time. Knopf and West Tigers have kept another team scoreless back to back half time games. But now, could the West Tigers keep two teams scoreless two weeks in a row? Oh, but Dan Laurie. Oh. Okay, boys. I'm pretty sure Lee Brooks has one try this season. Brent Naden from dummy half. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm not too sure about that, though. A cross field kick. Oh, no. Okay, boys. So, is there a tackle for the Panthers? Isaiah is tackled. Campbell Gillard is tackled. The first. The second. Tyron Peaches tackled. The third. The fourth. Moses Leota. Puts him away. Is is the last. Oh, it will be knocked on by the Panthers. Pull back. It's just not the Panthers' night. Now, Charlie Staines, could he score against his full club? He has speed. And let me tell you what, it will be another West Tigers try. <coughs> Charlie Staines scores against his former club. And he has his first of the year. Okay, boys, this is a real test for Brendan. Brandon. Is it Brendan making or Brendan making? I think it's Brendan making. Brendan making. It's a tough one. Oh, yeah, he can't hit it, though. He was doing so good until he missed that one. Okay, boys. Oh, Isaiah probably. Oh, get him away, he says. The second. Back to Luke Gunner. Oh, he does have the angle, does he? Oh. Oh, he 
It's a short pass. Brooks prevents the four pointer being scored. The fourth. The attack coming in waves. Flips a short pass. Twelve evades that tackle. It will be a loss. That's a good tackle. Referee signifies fifth tackle. Lovely pass. Brooks. Oh, it's stop at all. He has a double. It is all the West Tigers. The oh, I think that Stamford Tower scores his first in all. Well, the try. But uh, I suppose the West Tigers coach always knew he was a good player. Get them focused here before to knock this one over. You can count that as Low box just uh, does a good kick. I'm surprised there wasn't six again. Oh, I think it's because it wasn't played at. Oh, yeah, and the referee was right in line. So it wasn't played at, that's why. But stuff told me, so you go, oh, he just space and scores a wonderful try. And we do have some news from the coaches. We will start with the Panthers coach. The Panthers coach is very not happy with that first half. They, were, they wanted the Panthers to do much better in the second half. Defend well. Try and have a comeback a and try and not let them score a lot of points. But obviously, that didn't end the world. But so they want they still want the Panthers to do good in the second half. Try and not let this game get far away from them and try and kick and try and win the game. But obviously, that's going to be a lot harder. And the West Tigers coach is happy with that first half. They want them to wait. Well, so the West Tigers coach is very happy with the, the first half. They want them to back it up from last week. And try and bring in another massive performance. So the, the West Tigers coach will be very, very happy with this second half. So yeah. Oh, I saw for South Mona. Oh, dang. Okay, boys, so the Panthers will at least get the ball. Oh. We had to learn through, or we were caught up being. We were almost pinned for offside, so yeah. Damn. I can't believe it. Adam Dewey's out for almost like, well, Adam Dewey's kind of out for two months. Well, I think well, just past three months, because eight weeks would be two months, but yeah. He could come back sooner, this kind of depends. I'm learning, oh, wonderful kick, and Charlie saying, oh, no pressure. No pressure at all. Okay, boys. The second. So, it's, it's going to be another West Tigers dub. West Tigers are in top gear. Brooks, great step. Now you see him, now you don't. And for the first time since 2010, the West Tigers will beat Panthers at Penrith. David Ophelima. Oh, Brian Kelly. Wait, he hasn't. Yeah. Then David Ophelima scored five tries in one match, and now he seems to be quiet. He can't really get any tries at all. Oh, that is this. Uh, then the West Huggers are offside, but the Panthers kick is no good. Do you know, um, damn, it's been like 15 years since the West Huggers have kept the Panthers scoreless. I think the last one was in 2000. Being that's the Suffer Suffer Mona. Hey, okay, boys. Oh, okay, well. Happy Carousel has a double. When I'm making it's four from five, he's much better. But, yep. Panthers pick it in. And for the second time, uh, the West Tigers have kept the team scoreless. Do you reckon one point attempt? Brandon Waken is there. He wants a shot, does he? 
course he does, he's just off. What's for Tom? The West Hugs 34, Jesus, over the Pin Panthers, nil. Have been clinical tonight. They haven't given their opponents a sniff. And, out and the West Huggers are two from two. And we'll have plenty more football coming up next time. But yeah, happy course has a minimum, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one, boys. Peace out.